I first ran across these words in a book called Love, Medicine, and Miracles. It was written by a surgeon, and it dealt with patients who recovered from terminal cancer, who recovered from situations where there was no hope. There was no expectation that they would live, and yet they did. And his book is trying to explore what are the common denominators, what are the factors that connect these people. And to a great degree, it was their attitude. And it doesn't mean that your attitude can change anything, but maybe it means that our frame of mind is more important than we can possibly imagine. So, I have been sending messages every single day, recording videos, finding quotes, finding an image to amplify its meaning, and, you know, sending them out to you every day in our daily quests. And I know from the data, very few of you are watching them, and that's okay. I told you it was all optional. None of this is required. I'm doing it to be honest with you, because I love it. I miss a classroom full of kids. I miss you guys. I love what I do. And I'm going to miss this come Tuesday when the end happens for, you know, recording these formal videos. Now, depending upon what's said in the, uh, in the final exam, for those of you who choose to respond, you know, I don't know. Do we continue um, somehow, some way over summer and keep working right through fall? I don't know. I really doubt it, but I'm willing to listen because just like those cancer patients who survived, some of you are outliers. You are different in whatever way from others who have fallen by the wayside, not because they're sick, but because they don't care. Um, I'll never stop caring. I want you guys to have a good weekend. I will see you tomorrow, and I'll try to keep it short for the Sunday. And then just Monday and Tuesday. My goodness. <laughs>